Nautica Lands? Esports? What? Well, I'm out, man. I think it's tripping. So recently there has been a lot of happenings in the Diablo 4 universe, and I'm here to cover some of the leaks, dev responses, player feedback and suggestions that you guys had. First up we got Leonardo here asking how does Blizzard see D4 fitting in the esports world. Rod Ferguson goes on to reply saying that we have no plans to support esports. And while I'm looking forward to PvP in general, personally I don't see myself doing esports in a Diablo game. But what about you guys? Feel free to comment. So with that out of the way, let's talk about clans now. And we all know that clans were a featured thing in the beta, but what are they designed for? And do we have any particular function or is this just basically a social element? So here's a post that a player created on the official forums expressing his concerns about the game becoming too much of an MMO and not fully soluble like the previous versions of it that we all come to know and love. This has been obviously taken out of context from that developer interview that Anna Cake Live posted but this sort of thing mostly as a solo Diablo player also concerns me. And while I welcome the open world sort of aspect to the game and clans can be a thing that helps you organize world boss fights, I don't think I'm necessarily ready for some sort of group only content in the form of raids in Diablo. The idea of raids also has its supporters, but I bet you most of them are coming from other MMOs. Luckily the developers mentioned that on launch the clans will just be there as a social element. I think the idea of additional group content like raids needs to grow on the community, myself included. And I think it's a possibility for evolving the game, perhaps in future seasons, but I'm happy they don't plan it straight away. Speaking of open world, I have this full sanctuary map on display here, you can see we just had a small fraction of it to explore, the fractured peaks, and as you can tell there is much more left to explore, like you can go Skaz Glen to the north or Dry Steps on the western side of things for example. We couldn't do that while testing the game, but all of that seemingly big world will be available to us at launch. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty stoked about it. Now, since my necro is running a dungeon in the background, I can't completely justify talking about his summons. Apparently, to some of you guys, the necro summons, skeletons in particular, were too bright to handle. And while not having the ability to have more keybinds as a necro with all the summons seemed like a bigger deal to me, now that you mention it, I guess we do look sort of bright. But here's Adam Fletcher to the rescue, saying that the luminance will be adjusted. Now let's talk about some other adjustments, a user actually posted this on reddit, so I assume it was made by him, and it's an adjustment to the item tooltip interface. Personally myself I didn't think too much about which one I like the most, the original or the rework, but a lot of people on reddit seem to like what he did, so I'm curious about where you guys stand on this one, please let me know, and I'll probably let you know that this is it for this video, there are a lot of things going on in the Diablo 4 universe and I'll try to keep you updated as best I can. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing ya!